Oh, I bet you're wondering. Yep, this is Larry. We're going to be putting the video together today. We're going to be building a new sawmill, and this is called the Mini Godzilla, or Little Bertha, compared to our Big Bertha sawmill that we built here several years ago. And we're going to put you a video together of how we're building it. Kind of not step by step, but in phases. And uh, yeah, I bet you're wondering. This is my new hard hat. What you think? Watch the video. This is part one. We're going to have several other parts. And of course, this is the sawmill. Rest of the videos coming at you. Stay tuned. Well, guys, today I'm starting to shoot this video that I promised y'all I would shoot in my last video. If you do watch our videos, you'll know that I mentioned the fact that I'm going to be building another sawmill. It's going to be a little smaller. It's going to be a little narrower. and going to be a lot shorter. I'm trying to find a more cost-effective way of sawing these logs. Now, Godzilla, the big old sawmill that I built three or four years ago, she's doing a real good job, so I kind of built this one off the same principle. We're using two and a half inch. Oh, you don't need to be in this video. But two and a half inch uh, square tubing and two inch for the runners to go up and down and across the top. I'm using the 18 and three quarter inch wheels. As I was saying before I had to let the dog out, because she wanted to be the superstar of the video and I knew she'd be aggravating y'all. Now she's outside barking, but that's okay. We can still shoot this video. 18 and three quarter inch wheels. And I'm running a 10 and three quarter inch drive pulley behind the big pulley on this side. Now I'm running one inch shaft. See the bearings I'm running, same as the other sawmill. The blade's going to be 158 inches. Got my adjustment plate on this end. 5 16 plate on the inside, quarter inch on the outside. Now I would have ran another 5 16 on the outside, but I didn't have it. So we're 40 some miles from town, so we have to, to make work with what we have. Now I did take some coke can shims and made those up here on top so that that thing will slide up and down very freely. And uh, you know a lot of people said that all oh, this adjustment wouldn't work. Man, I can't find an easier build or better adjustment than, than this one here. Like I said, I've been running Godzilla in my other videos. And, man, that adjustment is fantastic. I mean, I could probably step down to 144 or even a bigger blade than 158 inch, as long as you got the fall thread there. So it's kind of a universal uh, fit, you know, adjuster there. Wood miser blades, of course, that's pretty much all I ever use. Wood miser's got some really good blades out there. This is inch and a quarter blade, 10 degree. But yeah, I just want to shoot y'all this video. I've still got a lot to finish up on it, but I told y'all in the other videos, as I stated earlier again, that I will shoot a video as I was building this one. And once we get it closer to finished, I'll shoot you a video with all the dimensions and sizes and cheat sheets, cheat sheets on how to build it. So stay tuned to my videos, watch them, subscribe and like to us. And uh, we also sell these big old pulleys and stuff like that and the H bushings and everything you need to build most of this kit at our website at tx-covers.com. Spelled T-X-D-A-S-H-C-O-V-E-R-S dot -E com. It's under the industrial section. We can't sell you the whole kit because we don't have it. Plus it would be too expensive to sell, ship all that steel. But we've got the pulleys, the H bushings, the belts, uh, bearings, chain. Uh, a lot of stuff that you need to build it. Again, stay tuned. Hit the like, subscribe. I hope you learned something from the video. Thanks for watching.